Hello everyone, this is the Hunter Collector here with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends series Mordo from Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. Uh, so I've been hearing rumors this is not the Mordo that we used to know, or maybe a multiversal version. Um, but yeah, let's go over to packaging for it first. So first we get the Marvel Legends logo here on top, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness logo here, Master Mordo. Uh, and then here is the cider of Master Mordo right there. Here is the top with the Doctor Strange logo furnished on top. And here's the bottom with the DCPI. Here is the back with the description. If you guys want to pause or read that if you want. Marvel Legends logo here on the corner. And then here we'll be building uh, Rintra once we have all the figures opened up. Uh, we already did Doctor Strange, Wong, American Chavez. We're doing Mordo right now. Still got Astral Form, Doctor Strange to do, and Despair. Uh, and then we already did Sleepwalker. And besides that, let's crack them open. And here is Mordo out of the packaging here. So let's go over to the accessories for, first. So we get Rintra's right arm, which we'll go over once we build him. And you also got his fist, which we'll also go over. And then you get a pair of fisted hands for Mordo here. See, so yeah, there's that. Uh, we got a pair of uh, relaxed hands for him, or spell hands. So yeah. And then we got the gripping hands here. And that's what we got for the hands. And then we got this like uh, crossbow here with this nice gunmetal gray for the bow. Uh, I wish they kind of painted this like a sh actual string looking paint, um, but that's okay. And then you got the arrow in there, all cocked back, ready to shoot. And you got this really cool lever here that is actually painted. And you get this nice texturing here for the wood part. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, crossbow and then i forgot what you what you called this in the first doctor strange movie but uh it's the thing that kind of retracts back and you can use that as kind of like a whip um so you get this like nice light brown here and you get the darker brown here it's got a lot of texturing so that's cool it's pretty thin but yeah just be careful with this one and then that's what we got for accessories so here is mordo up close so here is his head sculpt. So in the movie now, he has dreads. Uh, you get the beard and stuff too for him. So it looks pretty close to what he looks like in the movie. Um, I think the beard is just a little too... Nah, I think, it's, I think it looks fine. And it looks like we got a little bit of like scarring or something across his face. I think that was in the movie or maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a little bit of a paint mess up on my guy. But... Uh, yeah, face sculpt looks really good. And you got this really cool looking outfit for him. You get like that cape jacket thing here for him with this like green. And you get a darker green here for his sleeves. And then you get the brown, and then the light tan. And then you got gold bracelets. Same deal on the other side. And you get this gold accents here in the black. Some tan, gold accents. You get his belt here with some nice gold brown. You get a sling ring right there, a lot of texturing. You get this gold right here with some wash over it, or the texturing to give it more like a detailed look. And then more gold accents, green pants. And then you get the boot boots that are completely blacked out with the gold accents around it. But yeah, that's all we got for the looks. So let's go over the articulation. So he has a double ball jointed head. That makes him go down that just that far. Up only that far, left and right only that much. A little bit of head pivoting. Uh, shoulders can move out that far. 360 rotation around there. Uh, single jointed elbows that go past 90 degrees, so that's good. You get a little bit of swiveling in there. Wrist hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation. He has a ball joint at the hip, so you can go down that far only, up that far, side to side movement, twisting. Uh, legs can kick out that far, forward that far. Backwards, not a whole lot. Thigh cut, double joint knees. Uh, still pinned, by the way, too. Uh, no ankle cuts. Uh, no, not ankle cuts. Boot cuts. Uh, ankles can hinge down that far. Up that far. Nice ankle pivot. So, yeah, that's Master Mordo for you. I think he's a pretty cool figure. Uh, there's a lot of articulation problems. Um, like, his head doesn't want to move so much. Uh, legs are a little, like, loose. Not loose, like, they're, like... 
I don't know, they feel weird to me. I don't know, not exactly loose, but you, I think, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain, but, uh, yeah, but it has a lot of detail. I think it, this figure does a really good job with detail. Excuse me. And it has a lot of accessories for sure. Uh, I think the accessories kind of make up for the articulation and the, also the, so does the detail on the figure. So I think that makes up for the articulation problem. The head doesn't want to move so much just because of the hair. Um, and then you got the hip joint that does not want to move on any figures that has that really. Um, single joint elbows are on this guy is actually really good. Uh, and then you got that skirt piece that usually restrains a lot of movement for the legs. So, uh, but yeah, that's all I really got for this figure. I think he's a really cool figure. Like I said, uh, I think he's like a variant of Bordeaux from a different reality. If I'm guessing correctly. Um, but yeah, um, like I said, really cool figure. Um, if you guys want to help support me on my TikTok, Twitch, or Instagram, go ahead and check out my link tree in, my in the description. If you want to help support me on those, if you want to check out like a more brief review on these figures, go ahead and check that out on my TikTok. But besides that, thanks for watching. <laughs>